Yeah, things got kind of crazy, but we made it through somehow. Amazing! You guys really flew here in that UFO. Are you really that surprised? Finding out you're a robot, Pochi, was way more of a shock. And the fact that Mochan can turn into a chunk of iron. And vanilla turning visible. There's been so many surprises along the way. So true. This trip's been one unbelievable... Hey, how about we save the chit-chat for later, okay? For starters, we should be getting out of here.
If the Russians are removed too quickly, there is a danger of impairment. It was necessary to acclimatize, and so I watched over humanity, waiting quietly for the moment to move on to stage two. That's when I faced a phenomenon that couldn't be explained. There was a group of children that for whatever reason didn't completely lose their emotions. I was greatly intrigued by the existence of these children. I wanted to find out the reason they weren't losing their emotions. So I brought them to the school to conduct an investigation. The go-getter school was the result. It goes without saying, but I am, of course, referring to you all. It was April 1993. PCH-01. Pochi was installed as a member of the go Of course, I gave the order to do so. Pochi was sent to conduct an undercover investigation, monitoring your behavior, observing, gathering data. Another thing Pochi did was to lead you exactly according to my plan. Fast forward to that summer, and I was able to acquire the precious subject I was after, completely by chance. The subject was a young girl with anti-dehumanizing characteristics. I carefully studied her brain and body, and deepened my understanding of her. As I continued my investigation, one fact became clear. The anti-dehumanizing characteristics were innate and closely linked with strong altruistic impulses. I also discovered the repression of these urges could induce the appearance of supernatural abilities. Well, in short, because of your great selflessness, you all possess latent special abilities. Those times you wished to save someone with no consideration of the risk to your own life. When those altruistic impulses reached their critical mass and erupted, that was when your powers first awakened. By the way, I realized the missing piece of my human humification project. People to lead the flock. Shepherds. The shepherd must possess abilities greater than the sheep. To lead a dim-witted flock, overwhelming power is required. Also, a shepherd must be virtuous. Because a society that places greedy, powerful people at the top is sure to rot. A group who fit those conditions perfectly. Yes, who else but you children? The go-getter squad. You want us to be... shepherds? Exactly. You have been chosen. But all that would be meaningless with your power still dormant. I had to awaken them. That's why I had you sent on that long journey from Kagoshima to Tokyo. I paved your way with various dangers, opportunities for self-sacrifice, all to stimulate your way. In order to realize my plan, there were times I showed you illusions. Illusions? The strange creatures and obstacles you encountered on your trip. Most of them were merely virtual. Although, not everything. People. Robots. Penelope before its transformation. Earthquakes. And the eruption. Tokyo. What about the meteor we all saw from the bus? That was an illusion. I wanted to instill fear in you before you began your journey. In order to awaken your abilities, it was necessary to put you under extreme stress. <sighs> Let's continue the story. Of course, it was my intention to have Kochi accompany you on the trip, but I thought that overcoming the dangers in route would require more than Kochi's strength alone. That's why I chose to furnish the group with another robot, an assistant. The assistant was RCHE-10. Ra Rachel was an experimental model built even before Kochi was. As you know, he was remote. There was no time to prepare another autonomous robot like Pochi. Out of necessity, I chose to simply improve the robot's throwing abilities and left control to Pochi. I sent him to the Go Get Us Club in January 1995. If he appeared just before the trip, you'd be suspicious. So I planted him as a transfer student in advance. I think I made the right choice in introducing Rachel as an assistant. 
If Rachel hadn't been there, he may not have gotten this far. And now we come to the finale of my story. At last we arrive on that fateful day, July 13th, night the day you were involved in a bus accident on your way to Comic Con. The meteor had nothing to do with it. As I said before, that meteor was just one of my own. The accident was one of my schemes, carried out by my robots, instilling fear in me, and at the same time, rendering you unconscious. I then moved you to that undersea theme. By the way, you may all possess special latent abilities, but that potential alone wasn't enough to awaken your abilities. I first had to remove the liminars from within your brains. So I housed you in pods, and it was in those pods that I performed the surgery. Wait, that's not what I heard. I thought those pods were designed to brainwash everyone. That is false information I provided. You were thoroughly deceived. That can't be. When we got out of the pods, we were clearly acting different than usual. That was a side effect of removing the cerebral limiters. The breakwater that had been holding back your fears was destroyed, and so you lost reason. But I can't believe I'd be taken in like that. Oh. Uh. I required a lot of time to perform the brain surgery. During that time, you were all enclosed within the pods. But at the same time, I was busy doing things in the outside world, too. I engineered a new generation of improved nanomachines and dispersed them from the panopticons, so we could in the process of eradicating human emotions. The next generation nanomachines were more effective than the first. But they had a weakness. When humans were exposed to sunlight, the nanomachines were expelled from within them. To prevent that from happening, I had to trap humanity underground. That was phase two of the human humification project. After that, you woke up in the undersea theme park and began your 1,200 kilometer journey from, and finally, you have arrived. <sighs> Everything has gone exactly as planned. Before long, every stage of my plan will be complete. Every stage? Your Let me say it again. The reason I had to undertake this journey was to turn you into shepherds. I needed to awaken all of your abilities, and that process is now complete. Not a single member of the Go Getters Club remains unawakened. In Kagoshima? I got the ability to turn into a chunk of iron. And in Yamaguchi, my fire-breathing ability. In the Ehime cult facility, I got my inventing powers. And I got my mighty swing in Osaka. I was on that train when I got my hyperelectric wave. Same for my ability. On that same train. When we were in Shirakawako? And I helped Aniki just now in the school corridor. Exactly. Accordingly, you have all completed your shepherd training. The only thing left is to wait for your reply. Reply? I devised two strategies to protect life on this planet. One of those was the human sheepification project. The goal was to support all life forms on this planet, while at the same time preserving humanity. But there is another way. The extermination of humankind. All I need to do is detonate the nanomachines in everyone's You all have a choice to make. Become shepherds and make human sheepification a reality. Or... Annihilate. That is what I mean by reply. We're fooling around. We can't make a choice like that. If you don't make a choice, the second option will become inevitable. Do you not care if your father dies? Wait a minute. You know about my dad? Of course. So you know where my 
my dad is, too? He tried to impede my plans. He is now in confinement. What do you mean? The person who created me was your father. Are your repairs finished, Mr. Pochi? Yeah. Nyoro fixed me up. Thanks to her, I'm back to normal. Well, actually, I feel better than before. Thanks, Nyoro. Quit it. You don't need to thank me. It was all my fault. Humankind being trapped underground. All the difficult things you guys went through. What are you saying? It's not your fault, Nyoro. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with you. It does. My dad's the one who made Mike. And what does that have to do with anything? There's no need for you to feel responsible at all. They're right. You guys, I'm so sorry. Look, you don't need to apologize. But... If my dad hadn't made Mike... None of us are blaming your dad, either. Yup, yup! If your dad wasn't around, then Yoro, the world's cutest girl, would never have been born! Eh? You're asking Yoro out at a time like this? N no I'm not! Well, if you're gonna say it, I feel the same. Huh? You like Nero too? No, not that. Oh, you don't? <sighs> well, mm -hmm. that's not what I'm trying to say. If Nero's dad, the scientist, hadn't existed, then neither would I. Like the scientist created Mike, who then created me. <sighs> Did you know about my dad? No. All I knew was that Mike's creator was a genius scientist from Japan. I had no idea it was Nyoro's dad. So you don't know where my dad is? No. I'm sorry. The only thing I'm sure of is that the scientist had nothing but good intentions when he created Mike. Now that you mention it, Mike said something like that. He tried to... <sighs> Daddy is researching artificial intelligence, AI. This AI is super smart. So it's going to show us how to solve once it's complete. We'll be able to help lots of sick and starving people. Plus, environmental and energy problems will probably be a thing of the past. And with that, there will be no more wars on Earth. Everyone will be able to lead Nyoro's dad developed Mike for the sake of humanity. Totally! That's what we're saying! Mike is the bad one! Yeah, true dad! I want to sock that son of a gun real good! Speaking of... What's our reply to Mike go Isn't it obvious? There's no way we will become shepherds! And we're not gonna annihilate humanity! We've got to choose the third option. Mike, we've got to. All together! Damn 
damn street! Take that sucker out! <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Hey, hey. It's no time for tears. But... You like it when I smile. That's what you said, right, Nioro? Same for me. So just smile, okay? <laughs> Stop Mike from getting its way. That's my father's wish. So don't worry, Dad. Mr. Pochi, are you okay? Mike is your master, so to speak. Aren't you afraid to fight it? No, not even slightly. Because I've got everyone with me. You included. Yuki. I... <sighs> I don't know if I'll be of any use. But I'm gonna give it my all. If we combine our forces, defeating Mike's gonna be a walk in the park. Mike's like... Put us through so many horrible things. For everyone all over the world. We've got to take Mike out! Now that we're finally at this stage, my heart's really pounding. I can't believe that chump tried to use us. Getting smart with us. I'm gonna make sure Mike gets what's coming to it. did before going to school together yeah for sure if that's the case we can give it another go huh the school trip we can all visit kamakura together so we're finally gonna make it into the enemy base I guess there's gonna be hordes of enemies waiting for us. <sighs> this is just me trembling with excitement. Defenders of justice aren't daunted by evil. It's been a long journey, but it's almost over. Mike. The thing that stole humanity's spirit. We're gonna defeat it ourselves and bring back joy to the world. I'll bet that's what my sister would have wanted, too. Tomorrow we face off against Mike, right? I'm gonna roast my coal with my flames of love! Mike, you scumbag! Cause we're gonna come find you and pummel you into the dust with a hundred kicks! If we save the world, we're gonna be heroes! <laughs> Pochi! Let's finish Mike off once and for all! I'm not gonna forgive anyone who upsets Nyoro! Hey 
guys. Can I ask you something? Going to take down Mike. That was a unanimous decision, right? But where exactly is it? Ah! Now that you mention... The thing we saw on the school roof seemed like an illusion, didn't it? I know where to go. One of the Panopticons? Yep. Mike's mainframe is stored inside the Tokyo Panopticon. So we've got to get inside and destroy it. We can defeat Mike, right? Yeah. And at the same time, we should be able to deactivate the nanomachines inside everyone's brains. But how are we gonna get there? That's easy! We can get there in that! Oh, right! The UFO! Pochi, you know everything about Mike, right? No, not everything. I didn't know about Nero's father or the surgery in the pods. And Mike mentioned a subject, right? That was the first I'd heard about that, too. The girl Mike was studying, right? Yeah. Anyway, the only things I knew about were the sheepification project, this trip, and Mike's whereabouts. I based my strategy on all the information I had. Strategy? A strategy for taking down Mike. My idea was for us to all go to the Panopticon together, with you all awakened and powerful after the journey. That was my plan. I'd be no match for Mike alone. That's why I needed your guys' strength. When you think about it, most of the way my intentions were the same as Mike's. We both wanted to awaken your special abilities. Wait. So you decided to disobey Mike before the trip even began, huh? Yeah. All the time I spent with you guys... How should I say it? I realized how amazing humans were. Thank you, Pochi! Eat up, Pochi! Looking forward to it, Pochi. And that's what's so cute about you, Pochi. Me and you, huh, Pochi? We're the same, huh, Pochi? If you insist, I'll hold you to it. Pochi, you're so kind. I love your smile, Pochi. The reason I thought that was because you guys still had your emotions. That's when I realized I had to stop Mike's plan at any cost. Why didn't you tell us the truth before? Well, for one, I didn't want Mike to find out. Mike said that it'd wipe out the human race if its plan failed. Uh, no, but... But... aren't you spilling the beans right now? Y yeah What if Mike hurt us? Even if it did, it's no big deal. At this stage, I don't think Mike would be so quick to annihilate humanity. After all, it's gone to the trouble of awakening all your powers. That'd all be for nothing, right? A shepherd is nothing without a flock. Is that what you mean? Yeah. But... We've been saying we're gonna take down Mike! If Mike somehow overheard us... At the very least, we'd lose the element of surprise. Mike must have some strong defenses set up. And what does that have to do with anything? If we combine our strength, we'll definitely be able to take down Mike. Yeah, we can win this. Totally! Let's win this thing together. Together, we're invincible. That scumbag Mike, we're gonna bait it into submission. We're gonna crush it. Just to make sure, we're gonna head to the Panopticon tomorrow, right? Yeah. We should get a good night's sleep before the final battle. Final battle? Huh? Looks like we're in for a tough fight. If we're not all in this together, it doesn't seem like we've got a chance. 
I think we need a strong leader. Didn't we already decide that? That's... Kansai's leader badge. I gave it to Rachel in Osaka, remember? When Rachel got busted up at Lake Suwa, the badge fell out of his pocket. Um, mm, I get what you're saying. So what? You're the one who deserves to wear the badge, Pochi. Huh? Rachel saved our bacon time and time again. But... It was you controlling him all along. In other words, we owe our lives to you, Pochi. You're our hero, Mr. Pochi. Totally. You're the only one who can lead us. There's no one more qualified than you, Pochi. How about it? You gonna accept the role? Nah, we've already decided. He's got no right to refuse. Guys. Well then, you're now the leader of the Go-Getters Club. I present you with this badge. You saved us. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> did you guys just see that? Nero just. She just kissed Pochi on. You're right. Yeah. So shameful! Totally disgraceful. What are you guys talking about? It's no big deal. You say that, but look how much you're blushing. It's a little. You think so too, right, Mochan? Oh yeah, Mochan. You like Nyoro, don't you? Well, putting Mochan to one side. Hey, don't do that. Anyways, tomorrow is the big day. The day we take down Mike. <laughs> hey, Kansai, what are you doing trying to wrap things up? Pochi's the leader now. We've literally just decided. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on you, Pochi. Uh, okay. Well, then, here we go. Go Getters Club! Hey! Hey! Oh! Frame is deep inside here, right? Yep, in the Panopticon Central Control Room. I hope you're ready for us, Mike! Cause I'm gonna come and stick my boat where the sun don't shine! I'm not really sure that'll work with Mike. I don't think it has a. Yeah, yeah, Kansa. Shut it! Whatever! I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of it! <sighs> this is so exciting! Oh, never thought I'd hear that from Timid Little Mocha. My timid days are over! That's the spirit. I knew we could count on you, Mocha. Hey! Like, something weird's going on. Now that you mention it, we haven't come across a single enemy. Perhaps... Anyway, let's keep moving forward. The central control room should be just ahead. So, this is where Mike's mainframe is? I think it's behind that door. Everyone ready? Yeah! All right, then. 
Let's do this. Yellow Loon! Long time no seafood allergies. That's right. It's yours truly, Piano. <sighs> Guys, let's hop to it and go defeat Mike. Yeah, let's go. Wait a sec! How dare you ignore me! What the hell do you want, loser? You're about as persistent as our vice principal telling his watermelon thief story. I don't give a crap. Well, the vice principal's watermelon thief story. I'm not asking! What are you doing here, then? Oh, I get it. You've come here to ask Mike about getting a raise. No! Ah, maybe you're trying to negotiate shorter working hours? Hey, we treat our workers fairly. If that's the case, then why are you here? That should be obvious. This is Mike's home turf. Anyway, for you sneaky intruders, I've got a punishment instead. For the traitor Pochi, something extra, extra. <laughs> that said, I'm no fool either. I know that in a fair fight, I'm no match for you all now. Which is why. Maybe you were thinking... Locking me up would be useless. That's why you didn't prepare a cage for me? Oh, crap! That's why! Whatever. Without further ado, let's get this show on the road!
not your fault. What? It's fine, just get back. I'm gonna deal with this sucker. comes to me. I've got this. Say your prayers, Pielope. Let's settle this fair and square.
sorry. Hey, what are you saying? I'm Electro Ranger Black. I'm leagues above you. What's that? You okay? Shut up! Just leave it to me, okay? Don't worry, everything's okay. We've all made it this far together on our quest to defeat Mike. We can't let this be the end of us. I'm not gonna let your efforts be in vain. I'm gonna defeat Mike once and for all. That was amazing! That was an incredible fight! That's exactly why you're our leader! No. The only reason I won was thanks to you guys. It wasn't my strength alone that did it. Name's Name's That creep Pielope is totally busted, huh? Pelope didn't know who it was messing with. Regardless, Mr. Pochi, that was super duper pippity poppity amazing! <sighs> I've fallen for you all over again. I'm flattered.
<laughs> Look, he's blushing, too. <laughs> fight isn't over yet. Mike is waiting for us behind that door. It's time. The final battle. What? This whole thing is simple. We've just got to destroy that mainframe that's inside there, right? If we do that... The nanomachines in everyone's brains will get switched off! The world... It'll be back to normal. Yeah, and our trip will finally be over. It's finally... Finally coming to an end, isn't it? Right. Everyone, let's go and confront Mike. The mainframe. Maybe it's buried in the walls, or under the floor, or hidden somewhere around here? No, that's impossible. Mike's mainframe is a bunch of linked up supercomputers. It's huge. And it ought to be right in the middle of the room. But, like, it's not. No sign of it at all. But. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, Pielope, what's going on here? <laughs> I had you, you, you idiot. Come, come, come. That's right. Mike's not here. Not he, he, he but, 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 but Mike wanted to, to co collect some this data. No, no. So, uh, so, uh, so Mike's actually in. The name, 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 the name's Pierre's yep. It's totally on the fritz. <gasps> actually, actually, I'm also Mike. You might fritz, fritz, say that I'm, I'm, I'm... Huh? What are you talking about? Mike is, is, is comprised of three, three, per three personalities? The main personality is Mike. And besides... There's one more so so weren't you restructured by Mike? When I was restructured, structured, structured, my personality was transferred inside this body, body, body. I'm not sure I follow. Whatever, but where's Mike's main personality then? The name's Piano 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 Son of a... Have you decide, decide, have you, did you, did you become chef? Because, because, because if you never happen, then I don't think, think, think Mike is gonna meet, meet with you. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way we're becoming shepherds. Yeah, that's right. I see. see, see. Mike, but Mike, if you don't become, you become shep, it'll fin, 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 finish. What the hell did you just say? Finish, Vanilla? You do realize... Dead? That's... that's not cool. Vanilla! You knew... knew that... that, that vanilla's living, 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 and breathing. Another brain. No, you're lying. Wait, wait. What? Mom. No, 
um, should be, you be, you be up for after, after, after all, your body is still very, but, but, <laughs> Vanilla? You guys! Everyone help me! Yellowbee, what the hell have you done to Vanilla? It's not... It, it, it's, it's not me! It's not, 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 not... Then what the heck is Mike up to? Before, 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 before I explain, obviously, you guys rem rem remember what, what happened in August 19... <sighs> Vanilla was... hit by a truck. Vanilla's power? So the vanilla we can see is... Not the dead vanilla's ghost. But the living vanilla's spirit separated from her body? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Well then, where's vanilla's body? Didn't I tell you already? It's over there! Vanilla Blower was seriously seriously injured during her act. She was put in that chicken chamber to undergo medical treat, 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 treatment was a complete success. There's no, no trace of her. It's then what the heck is she still doing in that thing? It's it for research. Purpose. Research? Huh. So that was the subject Mike was talking about. The subject was a young girl with anti dehumanizing characteristics. I carefully studied her brain and body, and it deepened my understanding of her. But, but it lo lo looks like Mike isn't done with its research to, to continue with its inve best investigation. It, 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 it had to keep on going on preserved. So, I'll say it again, shall If you don't be, you don't be, be don't become shepherds, then Mike's gonna get me. It'll c cut up in the vanilla's oxygen. Well, in all honesty, the, the concentration of vanilla's o o oxygen supply is already be dr That's that's why she disappeared. The reason she was able to use her ethereal spirit power was because because of her brain special. But now, but now, her her brain cells are so so Wait. Do you mean Vanilla is dying? Well, she's not about to drop dead right away. She's probably got another 20. You scumbag! Tell me where the hell Vanilla is right now! The, na the, na the name's Yellow. The name's Yellow. Damn you. Aniki, there's no use! Shut up! Six letters. Six six letters. What? What the heck? After after the accident, Manila was taken into a facility. She still it's it's your fault. It's your fault. It's your. It's you. Huh? What on earth? When you were having in that barbecue, the Vanilla didn't just carelessly walk wander into the room once she left 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 you. She spotted a truck, 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 speeding. They made, made, made no sign of trying, trying, trying to break. In fact, they, they, they looked as though they, sp if it had kept go, 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 going, it was, uh, was, uh, was obviously going to crash right, right, right into everything. That, that, that's why she jumped in front of the truck. To 
put a fine in a point on it. She sacrificed herself to What? Oh. Vanilla. Why? Anyway, we need to figure out where Vanilla is being kept. Yeah, you're right! We need to rescue Vanilla as soon as possible. But how are we going to find her? your hunch yeah yeah but even knowing that yeah we've got no idea where Mike actually is anyway thinking on it isn't getting us anywhere maybe there's a clue somewhere in this panopticon you're right let's split up and search Yesterday, I still affected me. Neuro repaired my body, but 
Maybe she could go to repair my memory. If I chose a different path up until now, I might be able to remember who that person is. Maybe my memories of them would have been stored in a different place, and I'd still be able to remember them. If that's the case, perhaps that's also where the clue is. In an alternate history, one that I've not lived in.